All right. So those of you guys who jumped straight to the final video, um, I actually lost in the arena. I went five and three, but uh, it was a good run. I started off five and zero, oh, so I was hoping to at least go six and three. Um, I think that's my goal every time to win twice as many games as I lose. Um, just didn't happen today. Just didn't happen. Um, I, I built a druid deck this morning because, um, well, I, I built a druid deck um, for no other reason than to build a to build a druid deck to do today's um, quest. Today's quest was I had to play twenty minions over the cost of five. So I'm like. 20 minions 20 million or 20 minions over the cost of five are you are you kidding me so uh all right you are already um you are already giving gonna be giving me problems huh um hmm what do i want to do here I do have a lot of options. Don't make fun of me. Okay, I didn't want to shut that down. All right. This is a different version of, of the deck. I don't think you guys have seen this variation of the rogue. Um, I just call it straight rogue beatdown because what I was finding was um, more and more people were just designing decks uh, to be faster and faster and faster. So I'm just like, okay, if the deck just needs to be faster and faster and faster, uh, I need to figure out a way to be faster and faster and faster. Okay, you're going to you're gonna f uh, frostbolt me. Okay. Um, then that means you obviously know uh, what's going on with this deck. Otherwise, you wouldn't um, be so scared of the mana addict. Will, uh, will you show it after the game? Yes, I can show, I can show it after the game. Okay, so you did not play that. Okay, um, mana addict. Minion copy. Yep, you copied my minion. But that's all right. I will hit you for six. Where are the rest of my cards that draw? My shadow steps, all of that stuff. Random missiles. Oh, great. One, two, three. All right, you're going to trade your 3-3 three, three into my 6-2. Oh, you're going to deal three damage. Oh. Now what are you going to do? You got a temporary 5-3. Okay, so you're going to ignore my guy. Okay. And that's it. How's that?
Hmm. Yeah, like, can you, can, isn't this hard to imagine? He's, we're at turn five. He's been playing something every turn. He has not missed a drop. And he's at eight life right now. Okay, if I get a deadly poison, I win. Can I get a deadly poison? No, I get two, uh, two head cracks. Okay, uh, which I still win. Okay. Here we go. There you go. So straight rogue beatdown. Um, full thirty damage in, uh, in six turns. All right, let's go ahead and and break down the deck, and why why it works the way it works. Um, I, I've been cleaning up my decks a lot. Um, what I still need in this deck is, well, I need more card draw, but I, I haven't found a place to put it. I have a backstab, I have conceal, which would have been helpful for me a couple of times. If I, I could have concealed my guys, make them stealth, combo, and then um, my 6-2 would not have been hit. I also got preparations. I got a gold preparation. Ooh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's the like the, the shiny on the knife. I I disagree totally. Um, you got to tell me what you disagree with, because there's a, a slight lag in the in the what's it called? Do you think some decks with a lot of silence and counter spells will will appear with time? Maybe. Um, so I I have two cold bloods, two deadly poisons, two sheaves, uh, two sinister strikes. Uh, do I not have another? Are sinister strikes? Oh, wait, come on. Use the pretty one. All right, two Sinister Strikes. I dis I disagree that the Warrior... We uh, no. Oh, did you see that Warrior deck yesterday? I had to deal 70 damage to him in order to take him down. The Warrior deck is not weak. Um, Eviscerate, Headcrack, Sap, Defias Ringleader. Uh, the Mana Addict um, is incredibly good if you can get... Uh, Cold Blood on the Mana Attic, it turns into a plus 7 all of a sudden, and it is an 8-8 eight, eight all of a sudden. It just um, and turns, it becomes stronger. You don't need to have two cards of each. Um, you're right, but I cannot disenchant Soulbound cards. Gold cards cost a lot of dust to create. That is true. I don't make them. Like, I just happen to have them. What happens if you cannot kill in early game? You have plenty late game. You don't have high mana cards then? Um, yeah, basically, I don't have... I do not have anything past 5. And even the Dread Corsair normally plays for anywhere between 1 and 3. Would you show us your constructed Druid deck, please, please, please? Um, it's not really... It's just a big drop deck, but... Sure. Um, I, just, I just played it this morning in order to get the... Um, in order to get the uh, the quest today. I mean, look at the mana curve. Right? It's it's not meant to be t taken seriously at all. Uh, but um, I did win two out of the three games I played with it. Uh, hey, Crota, I took a screenshot of your rogue deck. I'm taking notes from it. That That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I don't say Warrior is weak. I say it's the worst. Uh, can someone explain to me why gold cards are better except aesthetics? No, it just looks better. Um, that's it. All right, so if and if that is it, if no one else has any questions for me, that is going to be the end of the program. Six parts of um, Hearthstone today. Hope you guys enjoyed it all. I will be uploading it to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will not be online tomorrow. I'm actually volunteering at a local youth group. Um, I'm going to be playing tennis baseball with um, some high school students and middle school students. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.